Now they have UPS taking them back. In the Target again, y'all. Gotta make sure we get our, our last minute sensations. We're looking at televisions, y'all. Because <laughs> we have to get one for the living room. We have all the other TVs for every other room. So we got to get one for the living room down there. We're not going to buy it now because the truck is gone. And we wanted to get it so that we can have it before the truck comes. Because we're going to be without our stuff for over a week, like a week and a half. I know I'm talking real fast. But I don't want to get copyrighted for all the sensation that's going on in here. How you feeling? So we're looking at this Vizio 50 inch. It's only $2.99. How you feeling? Because I'm feeling fine right now. <laughs> I just had to throw some more stuff away. Guess what? Someone else is moving. That's right outside my garage. Someone else is moving. What with everything you guys? Uh huh, it's your pen. This is Effie pen. Had to get that. Almost forgot. Let's go, y'all. And I'm recording the ground, y'all. Recording the ground. Some people want to know why I record the ground and feet. Cause privacy, y'all. Privacy. Eddie, stop. What? I was about to take this out, and I'm like, this thing is empty. That's the shell. Here's the actual epipen. I need to put it back in the shell. I was like, good thing I opened this. Get home and be like, what is that? They took it out the shell. But yep, that's his epipen. Getting the vehicle taken, y'all. Just going around it. Go. Yeah, he's gonna drive it to the truck right there. Yep, yeah. Can we watch? Yeah, if you stay still, you can watch. And then you're gonna stop. That's it. That's where you stop. And they're gonna watch the car. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's how you're getting it up there. Got it up there, y'all. Next time we see this little thing, we'll be in Texas. And he said I can have this by Monday, y'all. Monday. That's like two days after we get down there. Now that's what I call service. How are you feeling? Get it, get it. I'm excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> hey little one, how you doing? Is that Coca-Cola? This no, is Coca-Cola. Coca <laughs> and he stuck his face in the flowers and now his eye is yellow. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see? Hey, little one. <laughs> so you let them go on their <laughs> walk. Aww. Oh, you're going to miss the guy. <laughs> Are you here the rest of the day? Oh, uh, yeah. We leave on Saturday. Are you yeah. close by? No, we're going to Texas. What? Yeah. Oh, my, you're really going home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> I want him. I know. Okay. We'll trade. Okay. okay. I'll go to Texas with your mama. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, I'm staying, mommy. Oh, I love my mom. I want the puppy's nails. <laughs> so yep. It'll be empty until new people move in. Oh, oh that's nice. Y'all better get used to it. We're going to Texas. It's about to be hot. Hello. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but don't go fast. It's not a race. Keep going. Hello, sir. Where are you going? Um, actually, Mom. Where are you going? Where are you going? Keep going. Hello, then you, you're knocking on the door. Actually, Mom. Keep practicing and not going fast. 
I have them practicing with their suitcases because everything is not in that purple backpack this time because we're not going on like a little vacation. And I'm teaching them to not tell strangers all their business. So they're, Hello, they're practicing. Can you please ask my mom? Okay. <laughs> well, no. You ready to try it with your laptop? Oh goodness. There you go. Now push it. Hello, sir. Where are you going? Oh, how are you feeling? <laughs> Don't go fast. Hello, sir. Where are you coming from? Ask my mom. Where are you going? Ask my mom. Do you even know where you're going? Ask my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love your bag and your suitcase. Where are you going? Because these kids will tell their whole business. Eddie tells you all the way down to the neighborhood, the street, everything. I'm like, no, Eddie, don't tell strangers your business. So I told him to just say, ask my mom. Don't get to the airport and fail because you're doing good practicing. Eddie, it's not a race. Don't break that suitcase. But Eddie, no, Edgar, Edgar, I know you like to copy Lizzie but the best way you do it is pushing it like a car. You can't do it like Lizzie. Uh-uh. I'm pretending I'm walking down the hall to get to the gate. Okay, so you have to push it like a car, Eddie. It has to be done that way. And your hands have to be down there. That's the best way. You do it perfect that way. When you do it like Lizzie, you end up dropping it. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you're a stranger. I'm a stranger? Oh, mister, you look like a big boy pushing that suitcase. Where are you going? Ask my mom. Okay, he just want to keep practicing that, that, the question. And then when we get to the airport, he's not going to even do this. I, I bought you in the hallway so you could practice pushing your suitcase. Hey, y'all, I'm back in the closet. And I just want to talk to you guys really quickly because the kids are going to be louder than what they are right now. They're running around in circles in an empty living room. And if they hear me on the camera, they're going to know that I'm talking to you guys. It's kind of like when your kids hear you get on the phone and that's when they want to get loud, want to call your name, want to start fighting, you know, all that crazy stuff. So we're gonna try this really quickly. Let's talk about the video. Um, I am filming on my phone, um, except for this piece. I, I'm doing this on my camera. I also recorded this on my phone as well, but the lighting was kind of weird in this closet on my phone. I don't know, but I'm trying to do it on the phone so the file is smaller. I know this sounds really technical, Filming this on my camera, the file is huge. Filming it, everything on my phone makes the, the file smaller because we have no internet now. Y'all saw when I handed in all the equipment, we have no internet. So I'm trying to edit this on my phone to give this to you guys. I know some people are gonna say, well, you can use your phone as a hotspot. Sure can, but you still want the file small so you can get it up there quickly, you know what I'm saying? Um, what else did I wanna say? Oh, I went and got the EpiPen. <laughs> I was supposed to get that like on the last week of school, but you guys are feeding them snacks and treats and you guys having parties. Our luck, he would eat something that contains nuts and need his EpiPen and it's not there anymore. So I said I was gonna get it on the last day of school. Didn't get it. I was all in the rigmarole of giving out flowers and balloons and cups and stuff like that that we forgot. And then I remembered it, it was like a light bulb. Ding, went in my head. I was like, I gotta get the EpiPen. We got the EpiPen. Oh. The kids were practicing sliding their their luggage back and forth down the hallway because I am not um, putting everything in my backpack because I'm gonna be holding a cat. So I need my back to be a little stress-free. Um, and then we're not gonna be down there for just three to four days and flying back up here. No, we're staying down there forever, you know? Um, so we need a lot of clothes until our belongings get down there and then I always try to tell my kids to stop talking to strangers, but they're just so talkative, mainly Eddie, and so friendly that they tell anybody anything about our business. I'm like, ah, oh, you're telling too much, they're a stranger. I said, this is what I want you to do. I want you to just say, ask my mom, ask my mom, because they don't listen. If I tell them, well, don't tell this part, don't tell this part, they just go off on this tangent to start talking and then just information just starts flowing off their tongue. If you just say, ask my mom, you get the satisfaction of speaking to them because they just love talking to people. And then you give me the satisfaction of hearing you keep our business in your mouth and not out, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see if that's gonna work. And someone, not even someone, it was a lot of people ask, are you gonna record um, 
and you're gonna record like showing yourself flying down there and on the airplane and all this. I'm like, yeah, I do that all the time. I do that on trips, so why would I not do it on this special moment? Like, come on now, y'all, come on now, you gotta be thinking. Someone else had said, when you go down to Texas, um, don't forget about us, keep filming, don't stop vlogging. I'm like, y'all do know this is my job, right? I'm not gonna go down to a new place and quit my job. How you feeling? Y'all gotta be thinking, come on now, y'all, come on. Uh, we will be going down there this coming Saturday. Please do not um, like flood my comments and DMs talking about where's the vlog or where's the vlog. You will get the vlog when you get the vlog. <laughs> no, but for real, um, it's because we're not gonna have internet down there until like July 6th. So you'll get the vlog either on the night of the 6th or like the morning of the 7th of July. So that's when you will get the vlog. Please don't ask me on July 2nd, don't ask me July 3rd, don't ask me July 4th, don't ask me July 5th, because it's not coming on those days. It's coming on either the 6th of July or the morning of the 7th of July. So, um, but I know people still gonna ask because y'all be paying attention. <laughs> but I still love you guys. And I will see you on the flip side. I gotta go. Thank you for coming along this journey with us. Our boxes are gone. Our car is gone. And now it's just us that need to go. Um, so I will see you guys later. Check you out on the flip side. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>